Good morning, Brenda. Hey, Montel, How come are you? on in. Good to it's meet you. It's a pleasure. Hop Absolutely on nice in. Nice to meet you. I'm here this particular trip, uh, uh, kind of a little, a little bit of a promotional tour for a CBD and cannabis line that I've started with a company here in Portland. I've really fought very hard across the country to make sure that, you know, patients like myself have to suffer from MS and have had a traumatic brain injury, but people like myself have access to medication that is less deleterious than some of the other things that we've been prescribing over the last 20 years. No one has interfered for the last 20 years in conversations between doctors and patients when they write opioid prescriptions. Mm. They don't say a word. But the second a doctor says, I believe that this medication, which is cannabis, works or would work for you, then everybody's gotta be a part of that conversation. I was literally almost turned into an opioid addict. Mm. And again, because of my celebrity status, my celebrity status, I'm able to doctor shop, doctor hunt. So I had doctors all over the country writing me prescriptions for whatever I wanted. Mm. To the point that I'm going to shut my kidneys down. Why? Because one of my first symptoms of MS, and really the, the most egregious symptom that I had was neuropathic pain. Mm. Pain in my lower extremities, pain all throughout my body, and I was chasing some sort of panacea to see if I could stop it. I found out about something called CBD 15 years before this country ever started talking about it. I was seeking out people who were growing plants that had a little higher level of CBD back in 2001 and 2002. We did a KGW investigation recently, mm -hmm. and... Our reporters found that in this CBD industry, sure. it is so hard for consumers to figure out what's in it. That's the reason why I came here and picked Cura. They don't just make something and throw my name on it. I'm the formulator myself. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I select them is because I believe that they have probably the closest to a pharmaceutical grade extraction of anybody in the world. New Seasons has taken a bold step and is carrying CBD hemp-based CBD in all of their stores. They are actually carrying the Montel product. And New Seasons has done a really good job of trying to make sure they can educate people about you know, CBD products. And you can go in and ask them questions. So I'm gonna tell you, for all my Oregon fans, please go buy any one of those outlets and just say Montel sent you. If I didn't know your story, mm -hmm. I would never know that you were ill that you had MS, and you also had a stroke last spring. Right. I spent the entire month of June in the hospital. I was in intensive care for seven, eight days straight. For three of those days, they didn't even know if I was gonna, gonna come out of that. And I remember those three days when literally, you know, the doctors would come in and shake their head. And I could only remember maybe three or four hours of those days. But I'm like, what are you shaking your head at? Let me shake your head at me. Now, I wasn't able to, to, to say that, but it was like, <laughs> stop shaking your head at me. You know what I mean? I'm here, damn it. You know, you're, you're looking me right in the face. Don't be doing like this. That's some crap, my friend. You better start doing like this. So, how has medical marijuana, CBDs, how has that helped your health? It is the perfect distractor from pain. It has been my daily cannabis use that has helped to provide the neural protection in my body for the last 17 years that has kept me here in the seat and working the way I am. Without it, I would not be here, period. It's been a journey, girlfriend. This has been, you know, I hear you. 20 years mm -hmm. of a daily battle. I can't go a day without remembering that I'm ill. But every time I remember that I'm ill, I also remember that I'm not weak. I'm not one of those glass, you know, half full people. I'm the glass is full. <laughs> it ain't half full. The glass yes. is full. <laughs> Stop with this half full crap. It's full. Tell me something that most people wouldn't know about Montel Williams. As much as I speak to the masses about maintaining that positive attitude, believe me, that's why I meditate. I have to maintain that with me. For those who think this rolls off my lips with with ease, you know, there are times that I have doubt. And I have to stop and say, stop thinking the negative, my friend. Oh, yeah. 
you know, get your brain back on the positive because the positive is really what it's all about. You're a veteran. Yes, 22 years. You help military veterans, and that's near and dear to your heart. I spent 22 years in the military total, uh, in the Marine Corps and the Navy, and when I took that uniform off, I never really took it off inside. So you are intense, you're bold, you're emotional. When you just want to get away from some of that and unwind with your family, by yourself, what's your guilty pleasure? I'm a snowboarder. Uh, I've snowboarded in Mount Hood. Honestly, I started snowboarding because of MS. Really? Absolutely, because I'm extremely heat sensitive. And, you know, I like the cold. I like being in the cold. And so, you know, I had to figure out how to do something in the cold rather than just shiver. So <laughs> when I, even at an older age, and I had never skied or snowboarded before that. Oh, wow. Are but, you good? Um, you know, <laughs> I don't pat myself on the back, but I'm going to tell you, there's very few people that can keep up with me. Oh, I so, like it. Um, you have to give a shout out to your Oregon fans. I'd say thank you to Portland residents, Oregonians, is that how you say it? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Okay. Right, Oregonians, for your nature. Just really kind of shocked at how nice Oregonians are. And you are nice people, so thank you for that. I wish the rest of this country could figure out some of this. Well, they'll catch up one day. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully.